TV KPM Hey everyone, have you completed your English Google quiz? Yes, I have. Oh yes, thank you for mentioning it. I haven't. I better go do it now. Oh yeah, me too. I have already done it. How are you all coping with the online learning? Hi guys, hi guys. Hello, good morning. What are you guys talking about? What, what am I missing here? Hi. We were talking about online classes. Online classes, so how is it for you guys? Is it hard? It's, yeah, it's pretty it's hard. hard. It's quite hard. Yeah. But it's good that I can learn from home. Yeah, Although I guess. I'm just going to school. No worries, no worries. You guys can do it definitely for sure. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Good morning. Hello, you guys are watching Teras at DD TV KPM. My name is Nisa K, and I'll be your TV host for today. But wait, I guess I was your host for t yesterday. And maybe I'll be yours again tomorrow, but whatever, we'll see about it. So, I would like to remind all of you guys, brothers and sisters, friends and families who are watching us now to always, always comply to the SOP set by our government. Always wear your face mask when you are in the public and wash your hands regularly. Use hand sanitizer when needed and always bring extra face masks because, you know, we won't know if it will get dirty or, you know, I was like, I don't want to repeat to wearing it because we want to curb the virus, the COVID-19. We are still not at the winning. Okay, so I am so excited for today's lesson because subject today is English and me and my friends over here already ready. And I would like you guys to get ready to at home. Make sure you already have your breakfast, prepare your pen and paper or everything you need for this lesson. So can you guess who will be our teacher for today's lesson? Mm, I don't want to keep guessing. Let's see our teacher's profile. So we would like to welcome teacher Tanbir Kaur daripada SMK Sri Hatamas. Oh, 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 sorry teacher, I miss my Bahasa Melayu word sometimes. Is it okay? It's okay. Is it okay? We will learn together today. So uh, stay tuned until the end of the show because we have a lot more to share and to learn. So teacher, when we have practicing social distance for at least uh, one meter, we can actually open. And when you need to remove your mask, your face mask, make sure to always keep it properly. Keep it away properly. I have my special mask case here to make sure that my mask is still clean to be used again. So, teacher, what will be uh, what we will be learning today, teacher? Okay, we're going to talk about mobile phones. Mobile today. phones. Okay. So, a uh, mobile phone is something that we have. Most of us have, and we always spend time on it. So, I want to introduce you guys to my friends over here. They are all from SMK Sri Hartamas. Hello. Say hi to our viewers at home. Hello. Hello, hi. Hello. Can you please introduce yourself? Can we start with Joanne? Uh, my, uh, my name is Joanne Salamato and I'm from SFK Sri Atamas. My name is Raul Lin and I'm from SMK Sri Atamas. My name is Kelly Chu and I'm from SMK Sri Atamas as well. My name is Noor Aisha Katrina and I am from SMK Sri Atamas. My name is Kuchi Jemaima and I'm from SMK Sri Atamas. My name is Amira Maisara. I'm from SMK Sri Atamas. All right. Thank you, everybody. So, teacher, we will be learning about smartphones. And why smartphones, teacher? Um, because it's something that we use in our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. It's a very important tool. And therefore, we should talk about it. Yeah. I guess uh, because we spend so much time on it, so we need to know if it's good for us to actually spend a lot more time on it. I think we can use it for good cause, for, for you know, bad purposes. So we need to know the limit of uh, smartphones usage. Maybe teacher can proceed with our first slides. Okay, sure. Yeah. 
Okay, the theme for today is science and technology and the topic is Slack Chat. But what is it you're going to talk about exactly? Mm -hmm. Okay, for that, I want you to solve this riddle. Okay, let's read this riddle. Almost everyone has one these days. I am usually in your pocket or your bag and I can connect you to other people. You can use me to do many different things. What am I? Anyone? A mobile phone? Yes. A handphone? Yes. A mobile phone. Mobile phone. Mobile. So that's the topic today, okay? okay. We're going to talk about mobile phones, all right? Sorry. Now, before we start, let me just give you an overview of what we're going to do in okay. this first uh, session. We're going to talk about the inventors of phones and then look at the evolution of phones and how they have changed over the years, okay? Through a matching activity. Are oh, you ready? Right. I guess everybody is ready. They are all so nice and clean with the school attire. I know they are so excited about returning to school. I'm excited too, but well, I'm very old already, so I'm not going to school. But before that, teacher, we have a special video for our viewers. Let's see. Hi, I'm Azhar. Mobile phone revolutionized communication. Mobile smartphone revolutionized the entire world from businesses, industry, economy to the way that we live and interact with each other. The mobile smartphone is the most significant gadget ever invented by human beings and its impact will just continue to grow in the future. All right, thank you, Mr. Azhar. He's been talking about smartphones. And yes, teacher. Okay, the first question for today is who invented the first telephone? I guess I know, but I'm going to ask our friends over here. Raul, do you want to answer? Um, I think it's Alexander Graham Bell. Yes, okay, you are right. It was Alexander Graham Bell. Okay, do you know who he was? He was a Scottish-born uh, American scientist. <coughs> All right, and there's something very special about him, okay? Uh, he has a deep-rooted interest in uh, sound technology because his wife and his mother were deaf. Okay, so therefore he had this um, passion uh, mm. on sound technology. All right, my next question is, who invented the first mobile phone? Hmm. Teacher. Yes. I think it was Martin Cooper. Yes, okay, it was Martin Cooper. Martin Cooper was an American engineer yeah, who was working with a telephone company and he was the first <coughs> person who invented um, the mobile phone. All right? Teacher. Is, uh, Martin Cooper. Right. Yes. I just googled uh, Martin Cooper, and he's a really cheeky guy. Really? Why? The first person he called using the uh, mobile phone he invented was to his rival from another phone company. <laughs> oh, that was indeed very cheeky of him. <laughs> okay. Now, now we're going to do, what we're going to do is we are going to. Uh, match uh, the year with the mobile phone to understand how mobile phones have changed over the years, okay? Now, the viewers at home, you can also try to do the matching activity by looking at this uh, diagram here. All right, um, now who would like to answer? Who would like to try? 1983, uh, which is um, the phone that was designed in 1983? I think it's phone A. Okay, yes. Okay. All right. 1999? Um, teacher, I would say for C. Okay, yes, okay. And 2004? I think it's for B, teacher. All right. Okay, that's correct. All right. And I'm going to ask you uh, the differences that you see. Yeah? So please pay attention on the designs, how they are changing. Okay, 2006? I think it belongs to D. Yes, okay. And 2007? Uh, I think it's uh, F. All right. And 2015? I think it's E. All right. Okay, so what changes can you see? What changes can you see over the years from 1983, the first telephone? This was designed by Martin Cooper, yeah? The first one. Uh, to 2015, what changes can you see? Teacher. Yes. The 1983 phone is so big and bulky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at the size of it. Teacher, yes. the A phone looks like our water bottle. 
from the school days. <laughs> yeah, really big, yes. Any other differences that you can see? Changes? Um, teacher, I would like to answer. The phone looks more thinner and more lighter too. Yes, indeed. And how about the screen size? Oh, the phones are smaller and the screen size has gotten bigger. Yes, indeed. Okay, so the screen sizes are getting larger over the years. All right. Okay, now, uh, the first session was just getting you to talk and think about mobile phones. Now, we're going to get into uh, a deeper discussion of it, okay? Now, in this session, we're going to talk about uh, what we use our mobile phones for. And then we're going to watch a video, okay, where some people share their views on how mobile phones have changed our lives. You will give your opinions and respond to these views later on after watching the video. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. So, um, as I've said, okay, when we talk about mobile phones, we talk about uh, the users. Okay, we can also talk about the advantages. Now, every advantage will have a disadvantage. Okay, so talk about the advantages, the benefits, how it has made our lives uh, easier, and how it has made our lives challenging at the same time. Yeah, and uh, the effects of the use of mobile phones. Okay, so let's start off with why do we use a mobile phone? Okay, I want you to look at these statements here, okay? All right, and rank in order of importance to you. So the viewers at home, you can take out a pen and paper, all right, and start ranking, okay? Which, which, uh, why do you use a mobile phone uh, in your daily life, okay? All right, how about the students uh, here? Uh, making calls to or texting uh, family and friends. Who would like, who would like to give your uh, ranking? Who would like to share your ranking with me? May I give my ranking? Yes, yes. Kelly. All right. So number one would be making calls or texting friends and family. Okay. Number two? Number two would be looking for information on the internet. All right. Number three? And number three, using social media websites and apps. All right. Number four? Um, look, playing games. Okay, and lastly, use it for shopping. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. selfies was for number what just now? Sorry? Uh, then after that, we'll be taking photos and selfies. Okay. And the very last one, rank six. Okay, all right, shopping. very good. Anyone else will I have a quick try? Yeah. Kelly is very different from me, teacher, because I will definitely rank shopping at number one. <laughs> okay, yeah, Lisa, why do we have a go as well? Which one was most important to you? Mm -hmm. So, first, using social media. Okay. Number one. Number huh? two will be shopping. Okay. <laughs> well, number three, I'm sorry to my friends and family making calls or tests. <laughs> okay. So, uh, next will be looking for information. Okay. And five, taking photos or selfies. All right. And lastly, playing games. I don't really have games on my uh, smartphone teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. So, okay. How about Katrina? You want to share your ranking? Katrina? Yeah. What will be your rank here? My ranking? Okay, so from most to least, my first one would be, I think I would definitely use my social media sites first. Okay, social media sites, yes. And, my, and then my second one would be making calls to family and friends. All right. Third one would be looking for information on the internet. Uh huh. Um, the fourth one would be shopping. Okay. Mm, the third one would be playing games. Mm -hmm. Fifth one, okay. And, and lastly, the last, and the last one would be taking photos and selfies. Okay. Why are we not taking photos? I <laughs> I thought everybody loved taking photos using their phones. Okay, teacher, there's a lot more to come, a lot more to to digest. So I guess can I just take five of it? Yeah, Maybe sure. our friends want to drink first. So I'll see you guys after this. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. KPM DD TV KPM
You're still watching Teras at Didik TV KPM, still with Mini Saki and Teacher Tanbir and also our friends from SMK Sri Artamas. Always use hand sanitizer whenever needed because we have been touching so many things. So we want to kill the germs. Use hand sanitizer and bring around the pocket size. Okay. So teacher, I still feel very, you know, quite bad for putting, making course or tests at number three of my rank. You know, I should be making more calls to my families and friends. It's fine, Nisa. Okay, this uh, ranking that we did clearly shows that we all use our mobile phones for different reasons. Okay. Now, moving on. Oh, we are going ah, to play a game now. This is okay? interesting. Yes, we're going to play a true or false game. Okay. Okay. So get your red cards and green cards ready. All right. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to read some statements okay, mm -hmm. on the effects and uses of mobile phones. Now, if you, when, when I read the statement, you think it's true, you will raise your green, green card. card. And you think okay. if it's false, you raise your red card. Okay? Okay. For those of you at home, you can uh, uh, write on a piece of paper true or false as we are reading the statements. Okay? Or they can be using any green or red items around you. Oh, yes. Right. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yay! Yeah, we're ready. Okay. All right, everybody's ready. Okay, ready. statement number one. Yes, teacher. Mobile phones have made it easier for me to do my assignments. Oh, all green except for Katrina. Why a red card, uh, Katrina? Am I the only one that showed a red card? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, well, I do agree that it helps with my assignments, teacher, but sometimes the information confuses me. Yes, very true, okay? Because we have to always make sure where we are getting the information from. Okay, Wikipedia is not a good source for information, okay? Because uh, anyone can go in and key in uh, the information there. Okay, for example, if you need information on COVID-19, okay, you would go to the World Health Organization site, a website, yeah, WHO, and there you will get valid, reliable information on COVID-19. Okay, right. let's continue with the game, okay? Uh, number two, statement number two. Playing online games and having late night chats on bright screen can cause damage to the eyes. Green card or red card? Yes, all right, good. Statement number three. Mobile phones have helped to save many lives. Oh. Green or red card? Oh, okay, I see. I, I don't know. Red cards so there? Can you explain why? Okay, so teacher, in my opinion, I think this is false because I think people also can cause accidents while using their phones. Mm -hmm. For example, um, road accidents. Yes, it's very true, Rao. We have to be very careful and responsible when we're using our mobile phones. Okay, we should only use it when we uh, in a we're in a situation that will not cause damage to ourselves or to other people. Not, we should not risk our lives. Okay? Oh, and right. the last statement. I feel it is so much easier to keep in touch with my family members with my mobile phone. Definitely green or a green. Definitely a green for me. How about you guys? Oh, yes. Okay, oh, that's green. one of the greatest inventions, isn't it? We can keep in touch Amira with our is family. Amira is contemplating. <laughs> Red or green? <laughs> okay. All right. Shall we move on? Yes. Okay. Ah. Now you are going to watch a video, okay? So I want the viewers at home and the students as well to get pen and paper ready because as you watch the video, mm -hmm. you are going to make notes because after that, we are going to discuss about it, okay? We'll, you need to give your opinions about it. So get your pen and paper ready. Okay, what is the video about? Okay, in the video, we ask these pupils, uh, mobile phones have changed our lives for the better. Do you agree? Justify your viewpoint. Okay, they're gonna, we're going to watch them share their views and after that, you are going to share your views. Okay, so get your pen and paper ready and make some notes. Okay, so let's come let's watch, watch the video. video. DD TV, KPM. Hi, I'm Dave and I definitely believe that mobile phones have changed our lives for the better. This is because 20 years ago, if I needed a piece of information, I would have to go through numerous books to find out what I wanted. But now, all I need to do is type out what I want in the search bar and click go. And I have millions of answers right at my fingertips. What more could I possibly need to explain? Mobile phones are really advantageous if you know how to use them.
Hi, my name is Li Shenzhen. In my opinion, mobile phones has made my life easier as I can listen to music, get information and take photographs easily. On the other hand, it has made my life a little bit stressful too as everyone can contact me at any time and sometimes they get upset if I don't reply to them immediately. Hi, I'm Sonia and personally, I do think that mobile phones make our lives easier because it is so much more convenient to communicate with our friends and family online. However, I do notice that social media apps that we might download on our phones could cause problems such as cyberbullying, which could even lead to depression. Didik TV KPM Alright, so teacher, our friends have shared how the phones have changed their life for the better and there are some unfavorable opinions too. So what do you think, teacher? Uh, well, you know, for every, every invention or every gadget is invented mm -hmm to solve a problem mm -hmm. is to help us. Yeah. So uh, sometimes it is us that you know use that use the technology or the tool wrongly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Yes. All right. So now what we're going to do is you've watched the opinions that uh, um, um, that we sh showed you just now. Uh, what we are going to do now is you are going to share your opinions whether you agree with your friends whether you agree with your friends or whether you disagree with them. And these are some expressions to help you. Okay. For example, uh, you can say I uh, I agree with Dave. Okay. So you can put the reasons because sometimes you know uh, you 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 uh, get a little confused on how many things you want to say. So what you can do is you can make uh, some uh, write some keynotes. For example, you can say agree uh, with Dave. Okay. All right. Okay. Why you agree? Because in uh, because I I think that uh, mobile phones is the greatest greatest invention in the first century okay so sometimes when you want to uh, speak you can make some notes to help you uh, to, to help you with with uh, with uh, to put your uh, points across for example I can say I agree with Dave because I think it's one of the greatest inventions of 21st century and uh, one of the advantages of mobile phones is that uh, we can communicate with our friends and family at any time. Okay? Uh, how about you all? You can use one of these expressions to uh, express and give your opinions. Anybody would like to have a go? May I, teacher? Yes, Kelly? Yes. Okay. Personally, I do agree with Dave. Mobile phones have really changed our lives and for the better. Whenever I need to find out a fact or search out something that I don't understand, all I need to do is just Google it. My father and grandparents always say that during their schooling days, they had to go through the library and go through many, many books in order to find the answers to their questions. And for us, our generation, we are so incredibly lucky because at the touch of a button, we get the answers to our questions instantly. Yeah, that's very true, isn't it? Yes. Your, your, this generation is extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. Okay, because, you know, um, knowledge and information is... Uh, at your fingertips. Yes, okay? but make sure to use the internet for good purposes. <laughs> yes. Anybody else you would like to share your opinion? Who else? Peter, could I? Yes. yes. Well, while I do agree with Kelly, we can't ignore the fact that mobile phones have made our lives way more stressful. I feel that I can relate to what Sonia said, that some teenagers are taking the likes on social media way too seriously. In some cases, it can even lead to anxiety, depression, and even suicide. Yes, that's very sad, yeah? yeah? That we take it a little too seriously and we use it for the wrong reasons. We hurt someone's feelings. Okay, so we have to be careful and responsible uh, with how we use this technology. Okay, anybody else? Nats, who would like to share? Yes, teacher. I would like to go next. All right. So, um, but Jemima, phones were invented with the intention of making our lives better. So I think it is as humans who are using it wrongly. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly my sentiments. Okay, I agree with you, Rao. It is us that sometimes we use this technology uh, for for the wrong reasons. Anybody else? Uh, can I can I add? Yes, yes. Joanne. 
Uh, in my opinion, mobile phones do have its advantages and disadvantages. We can't deny that. Calling a family member or keeping in touch with them, especially during this COVID-19 pandemic, has made it so much easier using mobile phones. So it is our responsibility to use it wisely. Don't you all agree? I agree with you, yes. definitely, 100%, maybe 200% agree because we've been keeping in touch with our friends and families back in the hometown. I miss them so much, so thanks to smartphone. Okay, let's continue. Very good responses there. Okay, now in the next uh, section, okay, we are going to discuss about a condition that we may have when we become very attached mm -hmm. to our phones. Watch and after that, you're going to watch a video on the effects of being addicted to mobile phones, and then we're going to have another session where we will share our opinions. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. I feel, yes, teacher, teacher. Yes. Uh, when we get too attached to the smartphone, we tend to waste a lot of time on our smartphones, and as I was saying, we must be using it for good purposes. So that's what we're going to learn after this, right, teacher? Yes. So, but before that, we are going to take five. Uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM. Like, retweet, share, comment. Okay. Mm, TikTok, Instagram. Wait, what time is it? Wait, I've spent one hour on this app only. Oh my God, teacher, this is not healthy, right? No, it's not. I think I, I, I get too attached to my phone, so let's just put it away, put it away. Good idea, good idea, Nisa. Okay, now we shall continue with where we left off uh, just now. All right. Do you have? Uh, we're going to discuss if you have any of these symptoms here. Mm -hmm. So you put a yes or no. So viewers, viewers at home, you can also take out a pen and paper and write yes or no. Or you could also use um, your cards. Yeah. yeah, your green cards and your red, red cards. cards. Okay. Now, um, put up your uh, my students here. Please put up your uh, red cards or green cards so I can count uh, your responses. Okay. All right. Right, symptom number one. You feel anxious when you when your phone battery gets low. Guilty as charged, teacher. <laughs> okay, all six. Okay. All right. You feel annoyed. All six said yes. Okay. All right. You feel annoyed when you can't uh, access your phone. I want to hide my face right now. <gasps> okay. I have a strange feeling here that it's all going to be yes. Oh dear. Okay. You can't leave the house without your smartphone. Oh well. <laughs> okay, except for Amira. Okay, we have five. Yes. Five people. Five students who said yes. Number four. You put your life or others' lives at risk to check your smartphone. <gasps> In between. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. All right. Some of y'all said yes. And I think the rest of you said no, okay, for no's, okay. You use your phone to check for updates on social media sites while on a holiday. Okay, right, so five said yes. Okay, so what conclusion can we make about this? Do you want to know? Okay, if you answered yes to two or more of the questions just now, you may have mobile phone addiction, which is also known as nomophobia. Okay? I, I feel attacked, teacher. <laughs> I feel attacked. I think we all have uh, this addiction mm -hmm. uh, with our mobile phones, okay? But it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's different for everyone. Some are a little bit more, okay? And some are uh, uh, very addicted to it, okay? All right? And uh, while some are not so uh, addicted, okay? All right, so what is nomophobia? Okay, where does the word, how was the word nomophobia coined? 
uh, it's from no mobile phone phobia. So when you don't have your mobile phone, you get into this phobia. Okay, it's the fear of being without a, a mobile phone, uh, anxiety or panic over losing your phone. Okay. All right. So now when we're addicted to something, there are effects, isn't it, on our lives, okay? So what are the effects of being addicted to your phone? Shall we watch a video now? Yes. Should we? Okay, come. The viewers at home, okay, please also again, once again, students, mm -hmm. make notes of what you're watching, what you're observing, so that we can talk about it later. All right, are you all ready? Are we ready? Yeah. That's all right. Sure. So okay. I guess I will be at home also ready. Let's watch. Guys, um, I, I have something to talk. Shop. Oh, that is so run, good. Run. Run, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, yeah. Can you move your head, please? <laughs> yes. Hey, Kai, do you want some water? Yeah, please. Shari Faki, see you. Pay attention. Oh my god, see what happened when we very invested in our phones. <laughs> we spill the water, we don't pay attention to our friends, what they're talking. So it's, it looks bad and I feel guilty right now, teacher. Yes, but it's always uh, having the awareness of mm -hmm. uh, this addiction and we should do something about it. The most mm -hmm. important thing, you become aware of it, okay? okay? Right, so now that you have watched the video, okay, uh, you have to share, uh, can you sh how, how would you feel if you were in these situations? Okay, we've got to talk about how would you feel if you were in these situations that we watched just now. And is this behaviour right? And uh, why? why? Okay? So once again, okay, you can use these expressions uh, when you are giving your opinion. Okay? Whether you agree with what some of the students were doing, whether you disagreed with them, Okay, um, is this caused by, uh, is this, do you think this is happening because it's, this, it's a disadvantage of the mobile phone? Okay, all right. So I hope you made some uh, notes just now. Or right. anybody who like to start to share your feelings about what you watch just now? Teacher, may I answer? Yeah, sure. Please go ahead. Um, for me, I feel that if my friend were to ignore me, or keep looking at their phone when <laughs> I am talking or trying to share my pro problems, I would feel hurt and disappointed. So mm -hmm. this behavior is very wrong. We must sh show our respect to our friend by listening to and look looking at the, the friend who is talking to us and not our phone. All right, thank you, Amira. Yes, that's very true, isn't mm -hmm. it, Nisa? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anybody else would like to have a go? Nats? Who would like to share Teacher, can I share my opinion? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, so I've been in this situation many, many times already. Mm -hmm. I have some friends who constantly have to take pictures when we go out. Like the moment we reach the restaurant, they start clicking away. I think that is quite annoying actually, in my opinion. So true. Yes, who was that? Okay, yeah, it's, it's very true, isn't it? When we want to try to have a conversation mm -hmm. with your friend, but they are busy uh, taking photographs yeah. and, um, you know, you just sit down there if you felt ignored, isn't it? Yeah. All right, anybody else? Me yes, teacher. Aisha. Yes, Aisha. Indeed, Raul. I think I know who you're talking about. The whole purpose of us going out is to spend time with each other, but we end up taking photos to share with people who are not with us. Yeah, that's that's so true, isn't it? Uh, once again, you know, uh, we should we should become aware of our behavior mm -hmm. when we are at social gatherings, so we do not ignore our family and friends. We should be with the people who are with at that moment yes. and not worry about people. Katrina has made a point there. <laughs> yes, who are, uh, uh, you know, who are keeping in touch with us mm -hmm. through social media website, uh, social media uh, sites. All right. Okay, anybody else? Anybody else? Me? Kelly? All right, Kelly. Um, I think looking at your phone while doing something else, like let's say pouring water or something much more important like driving is definitely not right. It's incredibly dangerous. 
because we're not only putting our lives at risk, but the lives of others as well. Yes. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Yes, that is very important. I have important. to agree with that. Especially for those who are driving, please, please put your phone away because it is very dangerous. You can cause massive accidents, you know? Yes. Okay, we have to always bear in mind mm -hmm. um, that we have to be responsible users of technology. Yes. Okay. But, teacher, one of the effects of spending so much time on social media is it increases our insecurities. Somehow, when we see, oh, this, this person is very beautiful, then we feel down about ourselves, and I don't think it's healthy. Right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's true, but uh, again, once again, being aware of that and trying to have control over your emotions, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and, not be, and, not, and not get um, influenced yeah. uh, by your friends on these websites. And just knowing yourself and being confident is very important. Now I feel very guilty you now that I have my phone over here, even while I'm working, this is not healthy, this is not right. So I think I should be putting this away for a bit and we'll get back to the lesson after this. Don't go anywhere. Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM $5.5 million for a smartphone. Well, I might be using that money for a lot of other things. All right, teacher. Oh, are, you going, are we going to play a game? Yes. This is so me. exciting. So, friends, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, we're ready. They are already. So, I hope our viewers at home are also ready. Okay. okay. So, let's play a game. All right. Let me explain to you how to play a game, okay. how to play this game, okay? All right. This is a card game, all right? And the cards are covered, yeah? So when I um, press on the card, okay, the, the card will move and the statement will be there. Mm -hmm. So based on the statement, you will uh, respond to the statements, okay? So now, um, I can't seem to move the card, but I think what's written here, I'll write it down here, okay? Uh, mobile phones. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Oops. I think we need to... How do I go back, back to... Okay. Yes. Um, oops. <laughs> you can see all the cards. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay, I'm making the statement. I'm making the mistake again. I'm so sorry about this. Okay. okay. Can I write? Okay, anyway. What's written on the card just now was... Uh, mobile phones is a total waste of money. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, on the card G was written, mobile phones is a total waste of money. So you got to tell me if you agree or disagree with the statement. For example, uh, do you agree, Lisa, that mobile phones is a total waste of money? If it's way too expensive, more than we can afford, it is a waste of money. But if we buy the smartphone within our range, I think it will be fine. Yes, okay. I, I also think it's a waste of money, especially if you're buying phones every uh, few months, you are going to change your mm. phone when your old phone is working perfectly well. So then it's a waste of money. Yeah. Otherwise, it's a great invention, isn't it? It's a, one of the greatest inventions in the 21st century. Okay, because it has so many uses. It, we can use it for entertainment, for uh, information. Uh, it helps us uh, navigate our way on the on roads. Uh, it helps us. It helps me to get to my destination easily. Yes. Um, and there are so many other reasons that we can use it for. So I think uh, it's not a waste of money, but it's a very good investment. But we mm. must use it wisely. Wisely. Okay. So now. Let's play the game with you guys. All right, you at home as well. Okay, pick a card. Who would like to go first? Who would like to go first? Uh, Who would like to choose a card? I would like to go first. Okay, Joanne. I will pick card W. W. W, okay. I am so grateful that I have a tablet. I can continue learning at home through my online classes. Now, how would you, what is your response to this? 
I absolutely agree with that. I feel like one of the advantages of having technology today is that we could do, uh, we can learn whenever and wherever we want. And I, I'm very thankful that I have my tablet right now. But, but also that while online learning is still challenging as I have to play an active role, as I have to fight the will to not switch to uh, social media or mm -hmm. uh, playing online games while teacher is teaching because teacher can't see what I'm doing. So I have to be more responsible for my own learning. Yes, we have to practice a lot of self-control, isn't yes. it? When using mobile phone, self-control is very important. And if you have a mobile phone with good internet connection, okay, you should consider yourself very lucky. Okay, uh, Having a mobile phone or ha having a smartphone is a responsibility, is an opportunity to uh, gain information and for self-improvement, but it's also a responsibility. So use it wisely, wisely. and for the right reasons. Very good there, Joanne. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, okay. Joanne. Okay, next, who would like to choose a card? Um, could I? Yes, yes. Jemima. All right, um, I'll choose card Y, please. Why? 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 Okay, all right. Oops. Oops. Not that one. <laughs> Oops. Okay. All right. Now my uh, cut. Why? I put away my mobile phone when I spend time with my family. Oh. How would you respond to that? Oh dear. <laughs> well, in my okay. opinion, this is a very good idea, a very good practice. We should put away our phones when we're spending time with family. For example, during dinners or holidays, we should put away our phones or at the very least put them on silent as to not get distracted by them. Family bonding time is extremely important as it helps us create healthy emotions and realize that, that there are people that love us. Okay, yeah, there's a saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. A family that eats together stays together. Okay? All right. Yeah. Teacher, we, I would like to play more because I love listening to, to our friends, what uh, they are sharing on the statements on the card. But teacher, I am sad to inform that we have reached at the end of our lesson. So, teacher, me, right. maybe you can conclude uh, about our lesson for today. Okay, in today's lesson, uh, we talked about uh, the uses of mobile phone, the advantages, the disadvantages of a mobile phone, and as well as the effects uh, when we get addicted okay, uh, to a mobile phone. So therefore, we should use this technology, as I've said many times, okay, as our friends have also said many times, we should use this technology wisely and for the right reasons. Yes, be responsible for your gadgets, for what you are looking at on the internet. So thank you so much, Teacher Tanvir from SMK Sri Hartamas and also our friend from, from SMK Sri Hartamas. Thank you so much for being so participative, I must say. And I, I am very happy to have you guys with us today. So don't forget to actually stay with us because after this, we have another interesting subject with interesting teachers. They are all experienced. They are all good teachers who are here with us on DD TV KPM. So I'll see you guys uh, next uh, on the next episode. My name is Nisa K. Assalamualaikum. Bye. With the COVID-19 pandemic, online learning has become no strangers to students. I would say investing in buying electronic gadgets has been such a great help for students to carry out their online classes. Gadgets uh, such as phones, laptops and tablets has managed to help both students and teachers to cooperate well during the online classes thoroughly and with proper purposes. Students are encouraged to put in more effort in online learning with the use of the gadgets. With four children having online classes and two work from home parents, it has indeed been a challenge for us as a family. Um, thankfully, we've been practicing hand-me-downs of smartphones for a while now, so that certainly helps. And three out of four of my children also have laptops of their own. Now, what we've had to do is to make sure that the Wi-Fi um, coverage as well as network coverage has been good for them uh, at home, and uh, that entailed the purchase of the Wi-Fi mesh uh, extenders. TV K
KPM.